Hello and welcome to Furry Ears World on the sky down there. It is down there, down there. And uh, we've got, we've got quick recap, quick recap. I don't know where we are up to. We've got moo cows. I haven't played this for a while. We've got sugarcane. We got bar sheep's. Out there we've got our mushroom, which I could have clicked on with bowls to get free mushrooms, soup and stuff. But but no, I didn't think about that. We've got our arboretum, our wonderful tree land down here. We've got our our nether nethery wart stuff, uh, which we'll just let grow now. Uh, need some more soul sand, which I can buy for the purveyor. Out there is our place where we grow our mushrooms to full height. In here we've got little mushroom rooms that don't do terribly well. Uh, over here we've got the spotty mushroom. We've got our, our coca bean crop, so that's good. Um, we're doing we're, we're doing quite well. I'll be honest with you. I feel I feel good about this. Um, up here we've got our, our melons and our, our pumpkins. Up there we've got our cactus farm, which, as you'll remember, just dumps its load straight into the corner there. Uh, we got we got this lot of pumpkins forever. And then we got this lot of melons forever. Uh, we've got one here that I must have knocked over because it's not fully grown. And then if we go down the path, through the little gate, and through the the end portal room, which is here, which we're going to build a bridge over eventually, we come to this ugly great edifice at the end. And this here is going to be our Thunecraft room. And we already have burning netherrack in here, ready. Uh, we need to place our cauldron on top of that. I don't know where I've put my wand. And I don't know if the cauldron he gave me was a valid cauldron or, or just a cauldron. Because it needs to be a magic one, doesn't it? Have to be, it has to be thumtastic. Right, so we've got to build a proper mob trap. Because a box of cobblestone is not a proper mob trap. Uh, we need to build a chicken farm. Which I think is going to be along similar lines to the cactus farm. In that it dumps eggs I'm going to aim for the same place. I'm going to aim for here, but I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to achieve that. Uh, could be interesting. Could be a good one, that one. Um, so, I need to check my cauldron out. Cauldron and wand. So, if we plop that down, and then we click it with that. There we go. And that's turned into something else. We'll pick that up. That's turned into the crucible. Ah, where mighty things will be forged. So how are we doing? We got uh, 11 melons, 37 pumpkins. I, s I seem to recall I sold a lot of that junk. Right, let's go and... Oh, we made our Thumanomicon, didn't we? I need to read that and see what we need for the writing the research table because we need to do some research. We need to get our magic shizzle on so we can make the... Um, Alchemic, alchemy, alchemy thing, so we can make iron. Um, to be honest with you, things are going to be a bit tight for a while. Um, we we got our crops on the go. We we are we are harvesting well. Don't don't get me wrong. We're we're doing quite well with the harvesting, but things could be better. We're going to make a fortune selling selling cactus and pumpkin and and melon, but. We haven't hit the cash cow yet, and I'm not sure what the cash cow is going to be. Uh, it, actually, we've got quite a bit of melon. Pumpkin. Let's just take this melon out. Nearly got three stacks of it. Let's make proper melons out of it. Split it, split it, split it, split it, split it, split it, and chuck them in and go wallop. 16. Okay. That'll do. They're expensive things to make, melons. But... You don't get a lot of money for reimbursement for... Ooh, there's cactus down here. Cool. Four cactus. Bargain. So we've got our, our crucible. Where's our Thumanomicon? Is that in this chest? Um, I apologise for the sniffing. I have actually got really bad hay fever today. There it is. Oh, and here's our scribing tools. Minimum certified. What was, what was, what was, what was this? Ah! The Minium Stone. Yes, we're allowed to make the Minium Stone now, which is going to help us out considerably. Uh, so, let me add that to our Book of Shiny Book Collections. We need a little bookcase for that, really. Uh, so, Thumanomicon. Let us have a little read of this bad boy. We want to make uh, the research table. So, that's two tables. 
and I guess we click on them with the scribing tools. I guess that's that's the way that works. Tables, how do we make tables? Like that in the do 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 just I guess I just guess standard crafting rules apply. Did we have any slab oh you did. Three of them. And ordinary logs. Oh, we got some of them anyway. Oh, oh no 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 no. We need two, don't we? Oops. Just take half a stack. What the hell? What the hell? Forget about it. So this should be the tables. Yes, it is. Excellent. Anything else we need to make? Uh, scribing tools we've got. Uh, do we need to make the arcane work table? Which is a table we just hit with a wand. We can make that. Make another table. We can knock another table out. That's not a problem. We'll get all our magic shizzle that we can currently make up and running. There we go. That should do us. Let's go and start in our Thoom craft room. Everything okay here? Yeah, everything's okay here. I've got to do something about this path, though. It is getting a little precipitous. A little bit dangerous. Mind you, it's always been dangerous. I'd kind of like it to be a bit more... Mind you, we could extend the crops a bit, couldn't we? I need to get that wheat out of the way. I need to harvest my wheat and uh, get all that stuff going. Oh, and I need an infinite water supply, supply in here somewhere, don't I? Oh. Well, that, that didn't help. Right. So is that going to need to be a block lower? Right. Okay. So we need to take two blocks out of there. We need to go get our water bucket. And we need a chest in here, really. Uh, no, we won't do that. What we will make is one of these fellas. Um, where are we going to put this thing? Over, over here somewhere, I think. Maybe there? I think maybe there. Maybe there. In fact, there we go. Wand of the Apprentice is now safely secreted upon that thing. And we can make a chest, can't we? We'll make a double chest. Because double chests are good. There we go. And we can lose this. Because this was just a way uh, our marker. Oh, is that my research table? I think that might be my research table. We'll have a chest here. And we will actually make our research table while we're at it. So our wand is now floaty on our table, look you. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? So we need two of these. One there, one there, and then we nobble it with scribing tools like that. There we go. Research table. Excellent. That's going to be expensive to do. Right, so now we need to work out how to get our cauldron crucible up and running. And I think that's going to be a water job. I think the netherrack needs to move down a layer, which is fine. It's not a problem. We're not going to be able to get lava any time. Well, we could. We could get lava, but we would have to shut down the cobblestone generator to do it, and I'm not prepared to make that sacrifice. That cobblestone generator is a bloody miracle of modern technology, and I'm not prepared to sacrifice it for anyone. That's just something you need to know about me. I'm, I'm, I'm fervent. I'm zealous about my cobblestone generator. I am truly, truly zealotitious about my cobblestone generator. Uh, so what did I say I wanted? My bucket. Here we go. My bucket. And we'll have some water in there. Uh, did I not get my nether rack back? No, I didn't. Where's my nether rack? I just want one nether rack. There we go. Okay. Let's try this. Don't land on the crops. Honestly, jumping around like a pillock. Automatic cactus farm doing very well. Very pleased with that still. Uh, chicken farm is going to be awesome when that comes online. You're gonna you're gonna love the chicken farm. I think it's going to be a, a, a multifarious chicken farm that eventually will have capacity to to cook supply me with cooked chicken as well as eggs, but not initially. Initially. Right. Have a bit of knockback, mate. Have a bit more knockback. Would you die already? 
Thank you. A lot of hassle there. A lot of hassle without a sword. So we could die quite easily here. Uh, we're going to put our Thomonomicon away because we don't want to die with that. So we're going to we're going to quickly plap water in there, and it's going to flow down like that. And we kind of need to do this and drop a bit, plop that there. Is that going to be enough? I think that's going to have to be. We'll come down just a little bit lower, just in case. There we go. And we can hop out of there, get the water out, and fill that in. And then we should be able to now place him down there. That's not what I wanted to place there. Him down there. Uh, light him with our flint and steel, which we haven't got. Damn it, where's our flint and steel? Thought it was out in our room out here. Where did that creeper spawn in? He was kind of in this area, wasn't he? We'll just throw a few more torches around the place. You'd think this would be enough to stop them spawning, but apparently not. Apparently they do not listen to those rules that others adhere to. Apparently they are very much of their own mind. Which is just, frankly, irritating can't be having things doing very much of their own mind. It is unacceptable to me. I find it abhorrent. Right, so mob drops over here and bucket can go back in the, there and flint and tinder there. Okay, let's go get let's get hook this cactus out actually. Ten of them. Cool. Cactus worth a lot. We get sand for cactus, we get glass for cactus. So, cactus, good. Which is why we've got that thing quite so big. Hmm. Seeing things. Which is fine. I've been up here a lot on my own. And, and frankly, you're going to start seeing things if you spend this much time on your own. Just, just tinkering and pottering. You are going to go butt-ass mental as a jaybird singing in a tree. Or something like that. I don't really know. I made that up. Uh, so we'll light that. That's a nice fire we got going there. We'll pop that there temporarily. We will get our crucible and we will slap our crucible against there. That should be good to go. Get rid of that block. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. So we need an infinite water supply, which I obviously forgot about. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That is very good. Uh, infinite water supply, which I, I clearly, clearly... Where are we going to put it? Hmm. It should really be in the room itself. We could make it sort of through the wall type job. Yeah, that would be a good plan. Make it on an outside wall. Then we could we could have crazy fun. If it was on the outside wall. Hmm. Planning now. I'm planning in my little heed. We'll grab our bucket again. Uh, we'll grab a sign. Um, they can go away. Flint and steel can go away. Let's go and sort out this infinite water supply. And we'll need to run back down here to get another bucket of water in a minute because we only have the one bucket. I don't like him teleporting around behind me. It's disconcerting. Yeah, I know where you are. I know what your game is, mate. I know what your game is. I'm not I'm not worried though. I think we'll build our infinite water supply on this back wall here. So we take out that brick, that brick, and that brick. And I think we'll have to take out that brick temporarily. And we go in here and we go brick, 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 brick. And we go a bit more brick brick and brick brick we do the same the other way I think and then we can just fill that in fill that in there we go that should do us that can get filled in that can get filled in and we can have a sign to go there that just says wishing well there we go Isn't that nice 
nice little sign that says wishing well and we'll pop one bucket of water in there like so and we'll go and get the second bucket of water from way down here we down. Oh, I cleared it in one jump. That was just impressive. The parkour skills here are just just second to second to dog turd or something like that. And we'll do that again. We're gonna we're gonna parkour it again. Brace yourselves. Here it comes. Yoink! Yeah, we succeeded. So you can see the water supply as you come down the path. That's pretty it's pretty special actually. And then we'll just chuck. Second bucket of water in there, and then we can just go bucket of water, cauldron, bucket of water. Does that only have the one in? Yeah, it only has the one in. Okay, we might have flooded the room a little bit there. Now that should, yeah, it's bubbling. So that system works now. That's good. Uh, we might actually have to leave our bucket in here for constant filling of this thing. Eventually, we'll have a second bucket and a little golem chappy to, uh, to fill it up for us. That'd be cool. All right, so we've got that boiling. Uh, we've got that ready to, to supply us with water. I think our Thunecraft room's coming along nicely. We need a bit more glowstone in here. We can buy glow dust uh, so we can make glowstone and, and bling the place out. But next time we come, I think we need to do a bit of research, um, which means we need to go and do some shopping over at the Sky Den. And uh, we need to build our chicken farm. So this is going to be exciting. So uh, join us again next time in the exciting world of the Sky Den. And uh, from Fairy is World, ta-ta for now.